Okay, so once you've finished designing your figure, you then need to start thinking about a figure legend. So a figure legend really has two or three key elements. One is the figure number. The next is um, a really punchy, short sentence which summarizes the figure and allows the audience to see or to understand exactly what the figure is about in the first sentence. So for example, gene transfection and enrichment method used to determine whether SLI regulates key dopamine en enzymes. And then you go into the detail, explaining in a sequential step-by-step -step manner um, what the figure is about. So in order to enrich and isolate a population of dopaminergic cells with overexpressing SLI, the researchers first cultured human male, etc, etc, etc. It should also include the paper that the figure is based on. Okay, so once you've done that, you're ready to go. The last thing you need to do is record yourself explaining your figure. So if you go back to your, your figure, and if you go up to uh, slideshow up the top in the, the tab up here and if you click on record slideshow and then start recording from the current slide make sure you choose um, narration and laser pointer so you can start recording and this is going to capture what I'm saying to you you can uh, change the pointer so you can have different colors in the newer version you can actually have a little laser pointer you can draw on it um, so I might say something like undifferentiated cultured human male NT2 cells which uh, start off quite large um, are, were treated with retinoic acid to differentiate the cells into human dopamine neurons these mature neurons were then transfected uh, with the SOI plasmid and the GFP expression plasmid in a three to one ratio, so three times as much SOI to, to every GFP molecule. Um, the receptive cells were most likely to contain both SOI and GFP. And so these were then fact sorted uh, using flow cytometry, and the SOI enriched population of cells were isolated. Uh, RNA and protein was isolated from these cells. And then these um, cells were used to uh, these sorry these RNA and protein samples we used to measure the expression of um, the key dopaminergic enzymes tyrosine hydroxylase and monoamine oxidase A. And what the researchers found was that when cells overexpress SOI, they also um, overexpress or or the ex expression of tyrosine hydroxylase will increase. Uh, as was the monoamine oxidase A enzyme. And this was shown um, with protein as well as RNA. Okay, so if we go back to this slide now, you'll see there's a little speaker down the bottom, um, and that should have recorded what I was saying. So let's just listen. And this is going to capture what I'm saying. Good. And now, if we make that full screen, we should be able to um, both hear and see what I was saying. And this is going to capture what I'm saying. Okay, so a little hiccup there. But I think in your case, it should work quite, quite well. It's only because it's double recording everything at the moment. So good luck. All the best with your figure. I'm sure they're going to look great. And it's really one of these things that the more time you spend on it, the better they get.